Check it out, Casper! Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Casper here. Welcome back to How I Knew, the series where we look at things that gave spies away in certain situations. We also talk about what they could have done to avoid getting detected. So let's get right into it. In this first clip, I know that there's spies about, and I'm protecting my engineer friend here as a pyro. In my little wandering around, looking, making sure things are safe, I see there's a spy corpse here on the floor. I also see that there's normally a full ammunition pack next to him here. So what this implies to me is that his dead ringer was set off, and he hit the ammo pack and refilled his dead ringer. I think to myself, if I was a spy, where would I be running right now? And up the hill is probably the best place, either that or turn around and go back to where he came from. I check up the hill, and I just catch him unclosed. And going for my teammate. This makes it really easy for me to finish him off. I know also because he's only just uncloaked that he's definitely not dead wrong again. Fortunately for him, he's probably done one of the best things that he could have done here. He doesn't know that I've seen him. He cloaked well into view and he picked up a full ammo kit. He just got unlucky in this case. This next one is something that I'd consider probably a little bit more of an advanced technique when it comes to identifying spies. Now, when I poke this guy with my knife, he's already been fighting someone. So, although it's possible that I've set off his dead ringer, it's also possible that he's low enough health for this to kill him. I don't bump him at any point, so I'm not 100% sure whether he is dead wrong. But what I do, I pull up the scoreboard. And what the scoreboard will show is that he is dead well, as soon as his dead ringer set off. But what the scoreboard will also do is show me that he's alive as soon as his dead ringer is turned off off, i.e. he becomes visible again. So as you see, I waited here and I saw that he became alive again. Now I know that the red spawn times is probably longer than this, so there's a very high chance that he actually just faked his death. I have a little look around and eventually I find him. I do the same technique here to make sure that he's definitely dead. As you can see, it's taken much longer for him to show he's alive on the scoreboard this time, which tells me this is a real death. Perhaps a little simple in this case, but I come around this corner I can see that there's a sapper there. So it's not the fact that this guy is running from the direction that he's running from. I mean, our spawn is sort of to the left of there. It's completely legitimate that a teammate would be running from here. But the fact that he's running away from this sapper just gives me enough confidence to go for him, as he's most likely a spy. I catch him on fire and he's running into my flames. So if that had been a dead ring, he would have caught on fire again, probably within the time that my flames were still on him. So I'm confident that this was a real death. In this clip, even though the guy is disguised as a scout, which will have a noticeably slower walk speed if you're looking at them long enough, I don't think I'm actually looking at this guy long enough to notice that. What triggers my spy instinct in this clip is the fact of the direction that he's coming from. I don't see any real reason that a teammate would be over there, and if he was coming from over there, he's probably running away from the battle, so it would have taken a more direct route to spawn. Say if he'd gone left instead of coming straight in front of the spawn, I might not have bothered to spy check him, but because he went basically straight for where my teammates were running from, I was fairly confident that this guy was a spy. This next one shows one of the cardinal sins of playing spy. I'm going to play the clip and let's see if you can work out what went wrong. So aside from the fact that I was playing Pyro, and I probably could have done this pretty easily whether this guy made the mistake or not. The mistake here is that you see this big cloud of smoke appears when his dead ringer gets set off. And what that is, is he's in the process of disguising when the dead ringer gets set off. Now this smoke will only appear while you're disguising. So if your disguise is completely on when your dead ringer gets set off, there's no smoke. Or if you're completely undisguised, your dead ringer gets set off, then you start disguising, Again, there is no smoke. So the mistake here is having your dead ringer getting set off whilst in the process of disguising. When this guy saw me, he should have made sure that he wasn't disguising and just stayed undisguised or wait until his dead ringer had been set off, then tried to disguise. As I said, I am playing Pyro, so I probably would have killed him either way, but this is definitely something that you need to know not to do. So I've got just one more clip for you guys today, and it's actually a really good one. I really like this one. I'm going to tell you everything that happens in this clip beforehand, and as I describe it, you'll understand why. So there's a bunch of guys running down the side here, and I think, okay, obviously I'm going to try and sort these guys out. So I run down here, I see a few people, I see this blue engineer, who I suspect is a spy. So I air blast him, as you will see but nothing happens. However, I puff him with some fire and I hear very closely that his spicicle gets melted. Now, if this spicicle hadn't made a sound, I wouldn't have had a clue that this guy was a spy because for some reason my air blast didn't do anything. So I would have ignored him. But because this spicicle did make the noise, I try again. So here it is.
So that's just going to wrap it up, guys. That's the last clip I've got for this episode. I hope you learned something. Please let me know if you did. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Here's a couple of other videos that I've done. And this is a series, as I said at the start. So it'll be more like this in the future. Thanks, everyone.